Welcome back to the Crypto World Channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now I will be talking about the road to recovery for Ethereum. I will also be revealing some very important levels on the charts that we need to be paying attention to and comparing this bull cycle to the last bull cycle to see what we could expect next. And on top of all of that, I will be covering the Ethereum dominance and Ethereum value against Bitcoin towards the end of this video. So definitely make sure you're watching this entire video all the way to the end so that you're not missing out on any of this important information. And just before we jump into it make sure to leave a like on the video down below and if you're new to the channel you might as well subscribe with notifications turned on for more updates just like this every single day but with all of that out of the way let's get straight to what this video is about it's right here on the ethereum to your solar charts on the four hour time frame and just yesterday over on my twitter and also in yesterday's ethereum update video right here at this exact peak i let you know that it's usually at that stage right there that a lot of people in the market think that this first bounce to the upside is just going to immediately recover all the way back up towards the highs but i'll let you know yesterday that that would not be the case and the markets need more time to stabilize. A recent example of a correction like this that we had for Ethereum not too long ago actually was right back here only around three weeks ago in the middle of November we did have a similar size move to the downside if you're disregarding that wick to the downside that we're just experiencing and only talking about the candle bodies here on the four hour charts these two moves were pretty similar to each other and both of these moves to the downside saw the four hour RSI enter into oversold territories both times here and then of course the four hour MACD was trending to the downside as the price was trending to the downside and then it was a few days after we reached into oversold territories that we then started to flip a little bit more bullish again in the four hour MACD similar to what we're seeing right now and what was the outcome of that previous price action back here well that was simply sideways consolidation so honestly moving forward over the next few days that is really the most likely scenario for Ethereum just more sideways price action now obviously it's not going to be perfectly sideways it will be in some sort of price range like this bouncing up and down but basically we will be somewhat range bound here in the shorter term most likely obviously that's not guaranteed but normally that is a very likely scenario after a move like this now zooming out to the daily time frame for ethereum and what's really interesting here is of course we are still holding above this horizontal level just here coming in just above four thousand US dollars obviously we saw a huge wick to the downside just the other day on that flash crash but we never once saw a daily candle close below four thousand US dollars so obviously that is a good sign for ethereum and for the new views on the channel that isn't just a randomly placed line that is the 38.2 percent fibonacci level as you can see and believe it or not i've been talking about this exact level of support even before we hit that level of support when ethereum was all the way back up here at around 4.7k i was targeting this level right here and also what's currently coming in confluence with this price range right here is this volume cluster in the vp vr indicator coming in at around 4.1k is that main spike of volume in the volume cluster that is closest to where we are right now but but to the downside, a very important level of support is this huge volume cluster starting at around three and a half thousand US dollars. And that volume cluster continues to increase to the downside all the way up until around 3.2K. And then the volume cluster begins to drop off again. So really in around 3.2K to 3.3K, that is the biggest range of supports for Ethereum to the downside, which is just about where we hit the bottom on this wick to the downside just the other day. And another important level of support is the 120 day simple moving average which is currently coming in at around 3750 approximately and the reason why this moving average is important for ethereum is simply because of how many times ethereum has heavily respected this moving average for example all the way back here during may we found huge support along this exact moving average and then the moment we broke below this exact moving average we found perfect resistance right here during july and then in the beginning of august we broke out to the upside and flipped it into support which then we back tested with the september correction bottoming out at this exact exact moving average once again and something else that i did cover yesterday but i'll give you another quick update on today is obviously this bullish divergence that has technically already formed on the daily chart with the lower lows in the price action and the higher lows in the daily rsi and as i said yesterday what this means for ethereum is basically in the shorter term we are due for reduced selling pressure which ties into what i was saying just earlier in this video about how it's most likely over the next few days for ethereum just to be trading somewhat sideways and that would be a pretty standard outcome from a bullish divergence like this but again, something else that I did mention yesterday, but I'll mention it again for the new views on the channel. One thing we do have to look out for right now is the fact that the daily RSI for Ethereum is sitting very close to the middle of the RSI band, meaning that technically speaking, according to the RSI, we have roughly around the same amount of room to the downside as we do to the upside. Compared to the daily RSI for Bitcoin, on the other hand, it's sitting much closer to oversold territories. So technically speaking, that does provide a little bit more risk of downside price action for Ethereum moving forward, possibly after the bullish divergence 
this plays out, but only time will tell. And just giving you a quick update on this Ethereum chart, it's still the daily time frame for Ethereum, but the candlesticks just here, that is the current Ethereum price action this year. And the green bars just here, the green candlesticks is the 2017 price action, which was of course the last bull market for Ethereum. And believe it or not, despite having the bearish price action in the shorter term for Ethereum, we are still ahead of schedule for this bull market. Even if Ethereum pulls back further to the downside, closer towards that weak low, we would still be on track for the 2017 bull market. Now it's important to mention that this 2017 price action just here is stretched out a little bit to fit in all of these peaks and troughs for Ethereum so far. But with that being said, even if Ethereum is at the current prices that we're at right now, at the end of January, around one and a half months from now, even in that case, we would still be on track for the 2017 bull market. So keep in mind, it is very normal for Ethereum to experience pullbacks to the downside along the way up. And when you're talking about the larger trend for Ethereum, we are still forming higher lows and higher highs on the charts, which is technically a bullish trend on the larger timeframes like the daily, weekly, and monthly charts. And quickly talking about the Ethereum dominance right now on the daily charts, because obviously we are breaking out to the upside here. I've been talking about this potential breakout to the upside even just before we broke out to the upside. And I was basically letting you know right back here that if Ethereum gets above this exact level, then it's very likely that the Ethereum dominance will continue further to the upside after that. And that would simply mean that Ethereum is very strong relative to the rest of the crypto market. So for example, if the rest of the crypto market is experiencing a major pullback, a lot of bearish price action, Ethereum won't be experiencing as severe bearish price action as some other cryptos like Bitcoin, for example, if the Ethereum dominance is rising as it is right now. And then if this is happening in more of a bullish market, that means Ethereum is seeing bigger gains than other cryptos like Bitcoin. This is also similar to the Ethereum versus Bitcoin charts on the daily timeframe. As you can see, we are seeing that major breakout to the upside that we've been talking about for quite a while now on the channel. And for the new viewers on the channel, the technical price target for this breakout on this chart is coming in at around 0.1 Bitcoin per Ethereum. But one important thing to mention right now is the fact that Ethereum is entering into overbought territories when valued against Bitcoin on the daily timeframe. And historically speaking, that does mean that we are due for possibly a bit of a pullback. And just as long as we don't pull back below this line coming in at around 0.077 Bitcoin per Ethereum, because that price target to the upside only gets invalidated if either we hit the price target or if we break below this previous line of resistance, which is now technically acting as support. And if you want to get extra real-time updates on the crypto market throughout the day completely for free, definitely make sure you follow me over on my Twitter to stay up to date at all times. And the link to my Twitter account is in the description down below and also in the pinned comments. And if you enjoyed this video or got something valuable out of it, please make sure to leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe with notifications turned on for more updates just like this every single day. Just before you click off, make sure you're checking out one of these uploads if you haven't already. And I just want to say thank you as always for all of your support in the channel at the moment. We're less than 3,000 subscribers away from the big 100,000 subscriber milestone. And I honestly do appreciate every single one of you here on the channel. But anyway, that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all in the next video.